Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to another video. I'm here. Uh, let's see if you can see a good close up. This is the back entry of Salvation Army. This is where people go and see if you can do this. There you go. This is where people go to dump their, their unwanted uh, items. And this is where you park the back street at the backyard. Uh, back entrance and you can either dump your stuff there or you could just walk into shop but mainly the uh, open entries on the other side uh, i'm parking here just because i have no quarters no dimes to uh, pay for the meter so i'm parking here gonna go in there see if there's any juicy stuff and uh record my my journey for today if not i'm gonna head out to jersey and go to my suppliers all right guys let's see what we can find here
far. Nothing. Nothing that I know of. lanes to take the US 46 East exit. time ever going to a Goodwill outlet. 
Uh, I was here for a good, I would say, three hours. I got two bags. I let go of a couple of good goodies because I thought I was going to spend a lot of money. But I cannot believe I spent $29 on all of this stuff here. This Tiffany and Co cup is about 50 bucks just that alone 50 dollars i made my money just on that i found a vintage mirage studios teenage mutant ninja turtles uh, i think it's like a camp uh bedding and then i got a vintage 1996 lego world man i got goodies here i think i made over i want to say 700 to 800 dollars right here and i only spent 29 dollars at the goodwill outlet unbelievable hey guys welcome back so i'm finally going to get through these three consoles that i purchased at Wal uh, walmart that i purchased at the salvation army this guy right here is the original xbox it wasn't manufactured in 2000 2001 this console actually was manufactured in 2004. I have a feeling it's not gonna be, it's not gonna, um, not that it's worth, it's just it won't sell as high as I expected. For those that are Xbox enthusiasts that love Xbox, diehard fans, they look for the Xbox that was manufactured around 2001, that era, just because that was the year it came out. I believe it came out in 2000 or 2001, I can't remember. but. They, they look for that that year of um, manufacture. So this one I purchased for $18.99. I'm going to sell this right now. I had just finished the listing. I'm selling it for $79.99 uh, with an additional $9.99 shipping. I am not selling the controller. The controller is going to be sold separately. Um, well, I did the listing. I just haven't posted it yet because I have to take pic pictures. Uh, it doesn't come with a plug. I do have a plug. I want to connect it to see if it works, but I kind of just made the template for this listing. So it's not live yet, but that's the cost that I'm going to base it upon, $79.99. I'm going to check it. If it works, I'm going to leave it at that price. If it doesn't work, I'm going to um, lower the price and I have to add that in the description. Again, it's taped, so I don't even know if there's a game inside. I have to check on that. Again, this controller, I'm going to sell separately. But for $18.99, I'm selling the uh, HD uh, AV cable, including the console. I'm going to sell it as close to $80. This controller, I'm going to sell it around $20. I, I got to see the market for that. Um, then we over here, I already checked. There's no game. This, I haven't made the listing yet. Again, I'm gonna go through everything now. But um, this, I found it so awesome that it comes with a four player pack. Although it only comes with one controller, that's fine. I may just sell the console with the controller and all the other wiring, but this four pack, I may sell it separately. And it's a Nintendo four pack. It's not an aftermarket one. Um, this right here is the uh, Panasonic forehead. Hi-Fi stereo, uh, I think it's the um, yeah, Omnivision. I paid $77 for this. I'm gonna put the listing for this around $69.99, maybe free shipping, I don't know, but that's around the price that they're going for. Not bad, I am i haven't even checked the comps for the regular Nintendo, but this alone is nearly $100. This one, about $80. I think if you add it all up, I think I paid about 40 bucks for all this stuff here. No, no VHS tape. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, shoot, I gotta be very careful. I don't want it to stick into the, to the, uh, device well either way guys i'd say it's not $40 41 44 45 whatever you would call it just to narrow it down 
um, not bad. I'd be happy to pay $40, $45 for all of these things here because I'm going to make about, I want to say, $300 to close to $300 in prof, non profit, but in sales, just spending $40. That's all I have right now. I'm going to get started cleaning them, taking photos of them. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.